We have 1200 or so scenarios that were considered in the IPCC fifth assessment report. There are four representative concentration pathways that were primarily used in the Working Group 1 report. There are another 1200 scenarios used in the Working Group 3 report. About 300 baseline scenarios shown in the red and the remaining 900 are mitigation pathways. The figure just shows carbon dioxide emissions from fossil fuel combustion and cement production with historical emissions shown on the left in black. Current emissions more or less follow the red baseline scenarios heading towards 3 to 5 degrees in 2100. Although you always need to be careful when you compare long term and short term trends, but I think in this case the trend is clear enough that we are following the baseline scenarios. To stabilise at 2 degrees we have to follow these blue scenarios. There are about 120 scenarios consistent with 2 degrees in the scenario database. Although we perhaps should not consider all of them equally, as some of the scenarios tend to fail the laugh test. For example, some scenarios have a 60, 70, 80% reduction in emissions between now and 2020. There are some delay scenarios which continue on a baseline until around about 2030 before they then fall off a cliff with emission reductions of 60-70% in a decade. Some of these scenarios have extreme amounts of carbon capture and storage which I think is rather unrealistic and some scenarios have very large negative emissions towards 2100. Overall I think we need to apply expert opinion to evaluate the scenarios and particularly when we draw policy relevant conclusions from them.